coaching stars off the local college? Yeah. Um, it's a tough one. It's a lot of uh, a lot of kids in that locker room that are hurting right now, and uh, you know it's tough because you want something good to happen for those guys. And we gotta gotta find a way to regroup, and uh, it's a short week, and we got a got a big game on Thursday. And that's uh, that's really the only thing that'll make this better is trying to find a way to prepare and, and get that taste out of our mouth. Matt, what explanation were you given on the the play in overtime where it appeared that AJ had caught the ball? Uh, just that they sent it to Birmingham. They weren't sure, so they went to Birmingham and they were reviewing it. It looked like he had possession and he was down, and then the guy knocked it out. So it looked like on the jumbotron from what I saw. Take us through your thoughts when you found out that you were going to overtime there near the end of the game. I mean, yeah, we battled back, made the field goal, got it back to overtime, uh, won the toss and deferred, trying to go get a stop and win the game. Was there a consideration on the fourth and one before kicking the field goal and tie it to try and uh, maybe? No, not the end, no. Offensively, Matt, it looked like you guys had opportunities in the red zone and weren't able to finish enough drives with touchdowns. Yeah, that's a, that's the story of the game in my mind. Um, and any one of those field goals is a touchdown. You win the football game. And um, you know, again, you know, we just got we got. I think the ball was going to the right. We got to make the plays when they're there and and uh, score touchdowns in the red zone. That red zone issue has been one you guys have kind of battled all year. Tonight, was there any commonality with it? Was there anything that? Uh, no, we just had a lot of, uh, had a couple of drops, um, you know, had a, had a couple of balls that were knocked away that last second, a couple of reviews. Yeah. Um, but, um, but, you know, any, any one of those go our way. Um, you know, that's, uh, but we, again, you got to find a way to get it in, in the end zone. How was Jordan's ankle tonight? Did that bother him at all? Uh, it looked like he was a little bit better maybe even than last week and ran a little bit better. And uh, you know, not not 100 percent, but it, it was good enough where he was able to, to execute. How did you think you guys responded without Scotty? Uh, you know, we certainly missed him, um, but I, you know, Isaiah stepped up. I'm not sure what he rushed for, uh, but uh, we struggled a little bit in the first half. But he got going some in the second half. Uh, maybe uh, missed Scotty a little bit in protection, um, and uh, and then obviously his, his breakaway speed. But uh, but uh, you know, I felt like Isaiah stepped in there in battle. So did so did Sweeney. Do you think Scotty's presence could have changed how things went in the red zone? Uh, you don't want to speculate. I mean, it's just next man up. Do you have any update on Sean Rawlings and his health? Yeah, it was an ankle. He couldn't go. During that review, you guys have, I don't know, four or five minutes probably. Did you end up drawing up the play on fourth down that you wanted? Or kind of what was yeah, that? Yeah, no, it was just it was a cat and mouse game. We wanted to make sure that um, that either AJ or Lodge had a one-on-one -on -one touch. But, I mean, we had well, those are our two best players, and we wanted to make sure that each – that there was a one-on-one, -on -one. so it was a little cat and mouse game with the timeouts and things like that. But uh, wanted, wanted to get a one-on-one -on -one to our best players. Do you know about Scotty's availability for the Egg Bowl? Uh, I don't. I mean, he'll be day to day, and we'll, we'll see if we can get him ready. It looked like when Vanderbilt scored that touchdown and got the unsportsmanlike conduct. There's a little confusion on where to enforce it. Did you get an explanation on that? And did you have? Yeah. So they they you know, they asked me if I wanted to enforce it on the. Uh, the extra point try or get the ball on the 12. And, I, you know, I wanted the ball on the 12 because it was only going to be like a 30-something yard extra point. So I didn't feel like we would gain anything there. So I took the, the yardage on the uh, on our possession. I know you haven't had a chance to watch it back yet, but on Jordan's interceptions, were, were they reads, do you think, or were the defenders make good plays? Um, one of them wasn't a read. It was just a one-on-one -on -one deep ball, and the guy made a play. The other one, I don't think he saw the guy. I think he just had that. I don't think he saw him. They were, had a one-robber deal. And he just didn't see him. So, but then the other one was a was just a one on one shot. Guy made a play. You've had a couple of these. You've had a couple of these gut wrenching losses now in the last three weeks or so. I know it's a huge rivalry game and it's a short week and stuff. But how, how difficult do you anticipate it being? Just sort of getting guys ready to play again. Um, they don't. They don't have any choice. This is a huge game, and and uh, they got to get up off the mat again. We got. Uh, Four, four days left together, and uh, this team deserves to go out with a win. With all the stuff they've gone through and they continue to fight, that's why I want so bad for them to experience some success and we got one more opportunity to do that. Is some of the red zone dysfunction, do you think it's, in your mind, is it more schematic or is it just you guys not executing, I guess, down there? Um, it's probably a little bit of both. I mean, we had the opportunities we made um, on, on several occasions, and then, you know, but it, it gets tough down there. Again, you got to make plays when they're there to be made. Do you think at this point part of it might be mental? 
Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. You just got to go out there and play. You can't. You, you don't worry about it the, the you know, last week or three weeks ago when you're out there. That doesn't have anything to do with it. You just got to go out there and make the play. Defensively, what do you think of your guys' effort and production? Good. You know, they, they, they flew around and played hard, played with effort. And um, just, again, just uh, you know, didn't come up with a stop when we needed Anything else for Coach? All right, we're going to do players' assistance on the field. 